जो से कुछ रैंड वेरी गुड डू यू नो व्हाई आई कंटिन्यू हां जी ये रिमोट पे जम गया समथिंग Someone, I might need to make somebody else the host so you can keep admitting people. Okay. already almost three times the number of people expected to miss I think we can just start. So, uh, welcome everybody. So, I think this is the first time we're doing this. I've never done anything like this before. It's a retro of the questions that we did in over the course of the last week. Um, format is not fixed. I'll be making this up as I go. Feel free to suggest changes if you think these things are too slow or too fast or something. Okay. Uh, what I've got today is I need to make somebody else host so that uh, people can keep coming. Apu, can I make you host? Is that okay? Okay, so whenever you see somebody waiting, just invite them. Okay, so what I was thinking was, okay, uh, we could go quad by quad, and for each quad, I've just made a list of people who uh, did well in that quad. Normally, uh, it means that they got a musket that is all four questions right, or they got three. Uh, there's one quad in which nobody did well, so we'll just have to figure that out. If those people aren't there, for example, life of CCS, uh, the only person who's done well in that is a poor. Uh, so I'll probably just ask Apu the questions right now, and Apu can walk us through the thinking process. If the person is not available, then I'm I'm open to anybody just volunteering to take the questions. You all know the answers at this point, so this should be a very very easy quiz, uh, the easiest quiz you've ever taken part in because you know the answers. Good. Uh, hello, with that, uh, Apu, do you want to start? Uh, can I ask you the thesis questions? Yeah, let's go. Okay, awesome. So. Um, one thing is, I, again, I, I don't have questions on the side, so you just mostly have to listen to me. Uh, first question was about uh, which Greek hero's journey from, so the question itself uh, is asking for thesis. Uh, and the question had, um, which Greek hero's journey from Minoan Crete to Athens was commemorated every year by ancient Athenians who sent a religious mission to this island of Delos on the same Athenian state galley used by the hero. I should really be posting these questions somewhere. Wait, I'll put them in the chat. Uh, maybe we'll put them together. Uh, Harman, that's okay. Uh, if you don't want to put the question on chat also, because 
you said you want to finish by 1045 right yeah right no, what i'll do oh yeah okay. so thank you for reminding me i'll i'll start timer 45 minutes we're stopping irrespective of how far we get i don't want this to get indulgent yeah. so 45 minutes we will stop okay even if we make very little progress yeah cool uh yeah about this uh, tell me what you were thinking when you read the question yeah this is more uh, referenced a lot in like like blogs about like the ship of these is being replaced and it's a philosophical question and galley is a ship so that her, it, it must be the ship of thesis do you know the galley is a ship i know galley is a ship yeah like the word galley is a ship so okay. and yeah second question was telegin uh, it was part of the original story for thesis um and the the question was she his mother escaped from a bed chamber of the drunken king iegis and met with god presiding later that night what is telegin how how did you get this did you know this no i did not know this i think uh, i i it, it it was about to father i think that's how i thought maybe this this makes sense about uh, having a two different father to the thing it again this is also something i've seen or heard before like not as a question but like as a concept so that maybe this is it because it seemed because it like pointed towards that okay uh third one was assess uses a ball of thread to keep track of where he is in a maze and the question was what do you call a ball of thread in middle english and the answer what is the answer to clue Yes, but uh, uh, again, it was a guess. Uh, I thought like it seemed a little wild, but I thought yeah, this seems like a. Was this like your direct, my... or did somebody guess something else and then it came to you and you said clue? I'm, I don't remember. I don't remember. But I think it was a pass. I think so. Like my initial guess was was a twine, but it didn't make sense here. So I thought maybe you know the word lives on today in a similar sense. Yes. So it it must have been a metaphor. And last question for you. Thesis uh, is a great abductor of women. Who did he kidnap and wait till she became of age so that he could marry her? Uh, this is a pretty tough question, and I think very few people got it right. Uh, again, can you tell what you based your guess on? Yeah, I I didn't get this one right. Uh, oh, I guessed okay. her. Right. Okay. Yeah, I did not. Yeah, this was like out of the four, I did not get this right. Right, and I forgot that. Um, did anybody on the call get this right? I got I got it right. Rahul. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. So Rahul read the same book that I read <laughs> in order to make this question. Uh, yeah, he read uh, uh, Heroes. Uh, Heroes by Stephen Fry. By Stephen Fry. And, yeah, uh, I I read all three of that series. Same yeah. same. I, I'm waiting for it to see which comes in. Like, That's a great right. book, but hard to remember all the stories. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's so, possible. Yeah. So ah uh, no, I so clue question did not come till me. Gigi answered it before me. I an Theseus was my direct first question, hmm. and this one I answered correctly because I knew it immediately, because he kidnaps Helen, but ah. Uh, the story goes that he wants to go back to his father's island hmm. i mean to athens hmm. uh before a particular time and if he doesn't reach there i mean i think father kills himself he thinks theseus was unsuccessful hmm. and he kills himself because theseus doesn't reach on time also if i'm not very, wrong very typical greek mythology story no? yeah so, very, typical greek myth so uh, briefly mentioned in the question also theseus gets stuck in underworld hercules saves him in underworld that everything right, right. yeah everything is mentioned i mean everything i read from stephen fry's books or okay we are on to uh, second word esl punch uh, how many i have a doubt on this yes, uh, yes. like uh, this year was uh, looking at the time frame much before helen's time not so, certainly so uh, actually no, still, no uh, yes. he should be at least uh, 15 20 years at least 20 25 years That's earlier true. than helen's time Okay. Because uh, the, yeah, the, yes, sir, no. sir. The question also says he has to want to wait till no, Ellen. Ellen is a manageable age. If I can complete, you will get yeah, the yeah. loss. Yeah. Like the, ah. the 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 uh, the Troy war mm -hmm. happened, and Theseus was no more there. No, okay. Ellen was the uh, Odysseus was the Agamemnon was the everyone was the Theseus okay. was never mentioned. Theseus was much before. So Helen, okay. if Theseus abducts, yeah. should have been very, very. I mean, a minor, ten right. years, five years. So yeah. it, it's still a famous story, though. Um, so which is another thing is there was there was a mention about something like Diascura or Diascora. Diascora, yeah. Who are, who are the who are those persons? So Helen's brothers, she has two twin brothers. Castor and Pollux. Yeah, collectively they call. Castor and Pollux is it really a Greek concept or is it a Roman concept? I'm not sure. I mean, that's clear. So I mean, uh, it is there in the Wikipedia, maybe in the Eros thing also. 
But Absolutely. really, in the Greek history, is it really? I mean, as per the time frame, I have a doubt on this. I mean, yes, but I'm I'm currently taking what Stephen Fry's word. Right? Like so, uh, Ariadne yes. gives a clue kind of thing, and you know, you know, to all those things are fine. Okay. But the other questions are fine. This thing, it should have been. I mean, more. Uh, You're welcome to write a letter to Stephen Fry or something. But right now, I'm taking Stephen Fry as my source for these questions, uh, and we'll stick to that for now. Uh, we'll anyway, hard to tell what is mytho and what is history. Agreed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's also correct. Okay. Uh, question is oh we we didn't do ASL okay um, Matthew Marcus I'm pretty sure is not there anybody wants to volunteer to take up your questions I mean I read Matthew Marcus's quiz you want me to type it up I'm sure but look I'm, I'm yeah. directing the questions at you only you tell me who yeah, yeah, sure. Sure, so sure. For, first question was about raising a javelin above your shoulder and then yeah. shaking it vigorously do you get it yeah it's yeah no no I I this was not my direct but this was answered on direct I mean I think in our quiz all mm -hmm. four ASL, I mean, except for El Paso, other three were answered wow. correctly wow. in the directs. So this is Pierre Shakespeare, which was straightforward. Thanks. I think. Uh, 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 Harman, just a thing that I wanted to say. It, uh, I mean, so like you put the word shaking in there, right? Yeah. But you didn't put spear yeah. in it, for example. Yes. This is an yes. example. Right? So, I mean, usually what I see is like people, you know, they don't give away any part of the answer in the question. Mm -hmm. So, sure. yeah. I know I prob probably, you know, someone else would have framed it by so they would yeah, have right. shaking. Yeah, they would have absolutely right. Else. Somebody else would have framed it differently. And it would have been a different question. It would have been a slightly easier question. We didn't go for that. We went for something slightly harder. I said Java instead of school. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Second question. Um in in ASL, what do you uh what are you signing when you grab the third finger of your left hand yeah. and throw it on the ground? Yeah, oh. That's divorce. First, did you get it? Yeah, yeah. This one I, I mean I got I think I got lucky reader. Uh, prompted on breakup and I went for a divorce final. Good question. I think this is a pretty tough one. Uh, you're waving L's and O's past each other. Uh, yeah. What is it? El Paso, El Pasto is the logic there. O only two people in the whole league got that, right? Um, uh, yeah, you. that's what you mentioned, right? I think... Yeah. Uh, uh, a friend of mine points out that uh, there's, there's, it's, it's misleading to say frantically moving them past each other. Frantically yeah. it seems like a clue, but it's not really a clue at all. It's a misleading yeah, it's, yeah and, of, and I think what yeah sorry yeah go ahead and then what Ronak I think or someone mentioned in the WhatsApp group mm -hmm. having either a city or a yeah some a, a bit of more uh, narrowed down would have been this question would have been yeah. maybe answered a bit more yeah right, right. which place is is a pretty big area yeah because. Because we were all thinking, I mean, not we, but I saw people thinking Louisiana because L and O are there. Yeah, I thought Orlando because of O. -L. Yeah, exactly. O L L O uh, right. Louisiana Orlando. People went for Los the... Angeles, Hollywood. These O's and L's. Yeah, right? I think Hollywood also yes. Not Hollywood also was one. Around, I think because of the frantically, people thought there were many L's and O's in the place uh, names. So yeah, people yeah. went like Lola Lola. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Lulu, Lulu for a second. Honolulu also is a pretty good place. Yeah, as long as we're saying which place, that's not a very um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, okay. Britney Spears. First question, I think, was an introductory question. Basically, the answer itself is uh, Britney Spears was a uh, free blank hashtag. Achha, who's who's volunteering for this? Somebody volunteer for this, please. Somebody, please. I can do it. Yeah. Who is this? Sangeet. Sangeet. Hi. So I'm putting the question in the chat. Um, free something was the hashtag for which American singer? Did you know this is Britney Spears? Yeah, yeah, but somebody else got this. I think in, in this, uh, everyone answered on the direct. Oh, yeah, this is pretty straightforward, I suppose. This is fairly yeah. easy. Uh, second question If you seek Amy, yeah. uh, why, is this it, one why is there a controversy? Did you, did you know this or did you get it? I, I, yeah, I knew this one because it was a popular funda in school. Very nice yeah. funda, actually. Yeah. <laughs> We've seen it before in some quizzes as well. I, I, I think I picked it up from a quiz as well. I didn't pick this question as well. So. Oh, yeah. No, I think uh, like when we were in school or something, somebody told this to me as a story and it stuck with me. Okay. Uh, so question? if you think, yeah. Yeah. Your third question, uh, what is the name of her third album? Do you remember the answer? No, this uh, this also was answered on the direct by I think uh, Rishi Raj. Somebody got that right? Huh? Did somebody get that right? Yeah, yeah. No. Oh no, no, wait, wait, no, no, no. This one was the um, Billy uh, Billy Jean, no, Britney Jean, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Th- this was my direct Sangeet. I got this oh, one wrong. Right, yeah. Okay. I guessed um I guess Britney Baby, which sounds uh-huh. like Hit Me Baby, but then I knew the timeline was off because um, that that song came out later. So I didn't oh, get the Billie Jean yeah. reference. Yes. Yeah. So in this, uh, I mean, Billie Jean from 83 was okay, yeah. but I think the prompt rules were slightly strict. What you said uh, don't, don't prompt on Billie Jean, uh, prompt on, uh, don't prompt on Britney. But uh, or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. mean, the, I think the prompt rules for this were slightly tough. You're otherwise, right, right. otherwise, the question no was easy. You're right. This is way too harsh. So the prompt, the document says, prompt on Jean, move on for just Britney, and don't yeah. prompt on Billy Jean. That's very right. rude. Yeah, yeah. That's very... prompt on Billy Jean should have been there. Definitely. definitely. Yeah, it's, that's a very mean instruction. We we do yeah. accidentally do that. It's a very nice consequence of uh, making these questions, and you you end up being mean with the with the prompts. We have to fix that. Uh, last question. Uh, who is answering just now? Um, who? Sangeet. Sangeet. Uh, last question. Uh, the Max Martin's poor English resulted in which song? Yeah, this was all. This was answered by Akhan Chai. Sorry. And hit me, baby, one more time. This was answered by Akhan Chai. I think uh, hit me, baby, one more time. Did you Did you know the answer? Uh, yeah, I knew it, but I think it was someone else's direct, and they got it. But yeah, I mean, Sado Masterstick just made me think yeah. of like hit. Hit me, and I knew it was a Britney quad. The best framed question of the quad, I think. Again, I, I I can't take credit for this because this is also <laughs> a stolen question. Uh, this is this is the one that contributed the entire quad. So I had seen this funda somewhere, and I thought I might as well get three other questions just so I can use this one question. Yeah, definitely the best uh, retired question of the quiz. Mm. Uh, the uh, Britney uh, part was written very cleverly. Uh, yeah. Can I ask what was the Americanism that he was trying it's, to use? It's hit me up. So when you say hit me up, that means call me. Oh, okay. But he just said hit me. So that means something different. Yeah. Probably they couldn't rhyme hit me up with the song. <laughs> so, uh, okay, next word. Uh, horror and TV. Who wants to take this up? Is anybody here from this list? Rishi okay. will join shortly. Like about three of us were just uh, chilling on the Google Meets link. Uh huh. Is a Google Meets link? Yeah, whatever invite came that has a Google Meets link. So, oh God, that. okay. Um, fine. Take care. Does somebody want to go post over there? That's not that's a mistake. No, no, I was there. So there are three of us. So Rishi, myself, and Ronak Gupta. So hopefully they'll cool. join. But Abhishek, since you spoke, you're now getting the questions instead. Um, so which horror TV though. show brought <laughs> together iconic characters from uh, basically Dracula, Doctor Strange, Night? Did you know this? Um. Who's on the Penny, Penny Dreadful. She's here. Yeah, Penny Dreadful. Okay. Uh, yeah, did, did you know the answer or did you guess from the cheap literature thing? Oh, um, I, uh, I like it's a Netflix show, right? I, I, that, I uh, lady. It's not, it's not a show. It's a, yeah, oh. I mean, it, it, it was a brilliant show with Eva Green. Um, I should keep. I'm sorry. I keep asking you who's speaking here because I don't actually know most of it. So when I oh, start speaking, yeah, yeah. somebody introduce you, uh, give you a name or something. Just uh, Next question. Whoever's taking this, please take. Uh, which American horror anthology television series has creepy pastas? In it? I think this is the unanswered question. The the one unanswered question. The full lead. Uh, has anybody heard of this? Channel zero. No. Not one person. Okay, mm, no. no. <laughs> I, I searched IMDb. I had to scroll down to see Fiona Shah's ca- name itself in the oh, cast list. Yeah, okay, fine. Because I recognize Fiona Shah because she's played uh, Narcissa Malfoy in Harry Potter. Right. So I had to scroll. Wait, what is the show? I had to like. Then was not interesting. Also, when the premise was not interesting. Is it a YouTube show? Yes. Oh, it was one of the YouTube originals along with the Cobra Kai and all. Yeah, so this one, uh, basically a uh, uh, novel okay. for Shirley Jackson. Who's who's answering? I keep forgetting. Is it Rishi? Yeah, Rishi. <laughs> Rishi, what's the answer? Rahul. No, I mean Rahul was speaking with that time, but yeah, okay. this is the my channel zero. No, no, this is the I put a new question. Netflix horror mini series uh, based on a novel by Shirley Jackson. And the second series is called Blind Manor. So what is this? Yeah, Hill House. Or me. This is also a Netflix thing. Yes, Haunting of Hill House. That's correct. Um, third question from this part. Uh, I had a, so basically in in my in my quiz, uh, 
someone before me said uh, hill house haunting or something like that yeah. and uh, the i think shoaib was sort of moderating so mm. shoaib is like it's wrong and then mm. it passed to me and i was like that's pretty much exactly what it was so then i just passed without a shit kuch aur hi hoga so i don't know whether we are, are we supposed to be that strict or like what is it like, honestly like because so, we don't because we don't make it clear enough exactly when to prompt and when to not so uh, eventually readers have to exercise their own discretion otherwise the quiz won't happen okay so everybody is taking the best judgment according to their assessment uh uh-huh. we should be more clear about this we should write instruction uh-huh. somewhere so all readers follow it uh we'll get better right now people will exercise their own judgment and so sometimes you will get yeah because all better. all three keywords were there i mean haunting hill yeah, yeah, i would have, I, I would have given points for that obviously i would have, i would have accepted it yeah yeah I, I, it threw me off completely i'm like oh shit it's not that yeah like uh <laughs> yeah okay uh third question ryan murphy uh, lady gaga jessica lange tv show anybody mm-hmm. ishi american American story, yeah, yeah. I I guess Glee because it was a this was the first question that came I think so I didn't realize it's a horror court. <laughs> yeah, I I thought I'd pass uh, because I was not sure it had so many seasons. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, Glee yeah. had six seasons. So we are in Delhi Sultanate. Delhi Sultanate. Me four separate people got muskets. A lot of people remember Delhi Sultanate car rulers. Some of the uh, questions I will tell you right now only don't even have hints. The Kilji question has no hint in it. People just mm. know. So. Let's uh let's see what the questions are. Okay, okay who's taking this? Somebody wallet it. Anybody from this list? Here? I can. I think Rahul's here. Or is Rahul here? Rahul Jayanti was there. I saw the. Yes, he's here. Rahul, can, uh, do you want to take this? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yes, sure. Okay, first question for you. Uh, which was the first uh, yes. dynasty? Kutubuddin is in it. Which one is it? Yeah. Yeah. So I went for the slave dynasty. Kutubuddin Ibrahim was the clue there. So I knew, I knew that too. Okay, uh, just to give you guys an insight into what goes into this, uh, when we first published the question set, we were accepting only Mamluk dynasty. Okay. Uh, and then we were told afterwards that CBSE textbooks just call it slave dynasty. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. we had to modify the PDF. So yeah. All readers knew to accept <laughs> slave also. If, if yeah. you want to change the rule now, Subrat got Mamluk correct. Yeah. 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 Good. But he yeah I think Mamluk, anyways, means. Yes. Yeah. I, I I checked that Mamluk means freed slave. Of course, it's not exactly oh, yeah. slave. Mm-hmm. I think slave dynasty is a more is a more well known answer, man. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. So, oh, like the, so like all the, the CBSE people yeah. say that. All yeah. the non CBSE people say it's Mamluk. I think technically Mamluks are uh, slaves who become soldiers and then ah, okay. achieve freedom through their. Okay, second question from Rahul. Uh, yeah. I think this is the one. Uh, they're from the Afghan town called Kalati. Is there any hint in the question that I missed, Rahul? Did you? Ah, uh, no. Frankly, I just guessed it. I guessed it as Kilji. That's okay. Yes. So there's I, no there's no hint in the question, right? No, no, I could not get any hint. Yeah. Sort of help Maybe. who was. It, 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 if you if you see Padmavat, you'll know that it uh, the uh, starting scenes are in Afghanistan, and he comes with a turkey. That's uh, the only clue if you want. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Raza Murad plays the character of Jalaluddin. Jalaluddin, okay, okay. okay. Uh, Next. Third, third question for you, right? Uh, who is the infamous uh, ruler? Who is an inhuman eccentric? This is the last question. Yeah, yeah. This one, of course, I knew. Tukluk, Mohammed bin Tukluk. Does anybody know this from some source other than Chakbe India? I only know this because of. No, no, we we had we had it in our textbooks in our social textbook. Yeah, it's very famous in the textbook. Very, very famous. The later Dawood about this. Proverb history. by now, his name is pretty much a proverb. Yeah, yeah. Uh, recently, another insight to what we do sometimes. Um, so this is the last question of the quiz. It is intentionally a slightly easier question so that you have more tighter finishes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then, and then, there is one, there is one more question, isn't it? Are you sure you're muted? Because you're saying something. Uh, last question for you, uh, Rahul. Um, who's the final ruler? Uh, last, last minister of the. Yeah, this was done by Babar, which is a Ibrahim Lodi. So it was a Lodi dynasty. So, so that was a good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, quick applause for Rahul, who also got a mascot in this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. A national apologies. Uh, anybody over here available, or anybody wants to volunteer? Somebody, please. What is it? Yeah, I national can. National apologies. No one else is there. Who's going? If no one else is there, I can volunteer. Not that I did too well on this quad. That's cool. Still... That's not the criteria anymore. At this point, where uh, whoever is willing is the criteria. Okay. Mm. Uh, so national apologies. It was the theme. Um, this is uh, which group did the US make a national apology to in 1988, and they paid out twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, the Japanese Americans who were sent to internment camps. So in the very first phase of the league, uh, somebody said Japanese, and I accepted that as a valid answer, and I was told off because that was not correct. It has to be Japanese Americans. The USA has famously not apologized to the Japanese for anything. Mm. So I have to fix that. 
second question for you. Uh, this is which country was uh, housing fleeing Nazis? Yeah, this is uh, uh, Buenos Aires, Argentina. Right. Uh, how do how do you know this? Hmm. Argentina, like uh, they, they many of them went to South America and then. Right. Eichmann yeah. there's a documentary okay. about I watched a movie about it. Yeah, in fact, there's a documentary. There's a movie. There's a movie, there's a movie, movie also. Ronak, I knew you would have watched the movie. I suspected that you and I know from the same source. Yeah, yes, I, I, I actually I also got it right. <laughs> uh, I actually got it from a lot of conspiracy theories that uh, Adolf like uh, survived the the World War II and like he went to Hitler, Argentina yeah. That, yeah. So it's that was right. that was yeah. one thing. And latest, like most recent, Red Notice also gives it a, a little bit of a throwback. With like saying that a lot of uh, the artifacts from Hitler's uh, collection were actually put up in, uh, so that's that's in that notice as well. Uh, nice. The Zion Reynold uh, movie. Okay. Also, a running gag on Archer, right? That the crazy scientist is a Hitler clone, and he's from Argentina. So Argentina, nice. Okay. Abhishek, third question for you. Uh, David Cameron apologized for what that he did to Ireland, that Britain did to Ireland. Yeah, this is Bloody Sunday. Did you know the incident or did you know the YouTube song? No, no, I I knew this, but uh, yeah, YouTube song just uh, made it show. Nice. And last question: Australia was apologizing for what? Mm, this was the forcible separation of uh, ki- Aboriginal kids from their parents and placed with white families. So this never came to me. It was unfortunate. The, they were also accepting. I don't know. This is the term stolen term. generation. Yeah, stolen generation was the. Was the I, so is I, this I is know. this the same as is this the same as residential schools? The the separation of like in no, Canada. No, that's, that's Canada. Canada. That's Canada. Okay. okay. Mm. They were straight. Uh, they were straight. Just forcibly adopted into these families. It's uh, not just a residential school. I did that, not verify this, but Subrat confirmed that. Uh, Andrew Simons is one of the examples of uh, the stolen generation. Ah, okay. With that bright, cheerful topic, we'll now move on to uh, others. <laughs> others. Uh, we'll try something like weight training itself, which everybody did really well. We have a lot of people. All these people got almost muscles. They were one question away from uh, getting a muscle. This, is anybody here available? Vishik, sir. Anybody yeah, else? Yeah, I can do. take it again if no one else is there. Cool. Awesome. First question for you. Um, <clears throat> one lifts the barbell from the ground to over it in a continuous motion. Um, and bars, uh, receiving the bar overhead with the arm stroke. This is a snatch, no? This is correct. Um, again, are you just familiar with all your exercises or are you guessing from the questions? No, no, I knew, I didn't know, uh, snatch never came to me. Okay. Honestly, I, I wouldn't have guess, guessed snatch, but I knew the others. Uh, second question, um, you lie down on a blank with legs extended to the floor and push up barbells from the body level to completely extend the arms overhead. Yeah, so... As I was reading the question, I I would have answered uh, powerlifting, but since powerlifting was there, uh, yeah, barbell from body level, fully extended arms overhead and lying on a, yeah, so that was bench press. Yeah, so the blank there is bench. Blank just means that we had to remove a word because it makes the answer too obvious. So mm. uh, yeah, it was bench press. What is the third question? Uh, third question is the one involving two movements. Yeah, so this is clean and jerk. Someone said clean and lift and someone else said snatch and jerk. I was third and I felt pretty bad, but then I said clean. And I, I saw a lot of that as well. I've been reading some quizzes and people said uh, something and jerk. Jerk was no, but clean doesn't really sound like a uh, weightlifting action at all. So. And uh, politically, normally it's jerk and then clean, but okay. Oh, really? Okay, I didn't know that. No, 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 I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry. Um... Uh, question is that again, Abhishek, uh, barbell lift out down to level of the hips, torso perpendicular to the floor. Ah, uh, this is deadlift, no? Yes. I got told off for this question because it says torso perpendicular to the floor. Did anybody get get confused by that? Mm, no, no, I just I saw hips level of hips and put it. I I think torso perpendicular. It's actually the. I mean, you're if you're standing, then. Uh, your whole yeah. body is perpendicular to the right. So that no. person thought that uh, I mean, for some reason, that person thought that when you are picking it up, that time your torso is not perpendicular. So, so the so the question is misleading that way. Basically, this it was just like maybe not as clearly framed as it could have been. Mm, but that's bad form. No, you are supposed to bend at the knees and pick it up. You're not supposed Suddenly to. Suddenly, you, you weight trainers talk to each other about this. Uh, okay, question uh, is on for tarot cards. Uh, anybody volunteering? Anybody from here? 
Uh, I can do this squad. My name is okay. Arpita. Hi, Arpita. Uh, first question. Hi. Today. It's in the yeah. chat. Rider weight deck uh, has a bunch of changes. It changed the lovers from three figures to two to enforce correspondence to what sign from astrology? Yeah, so uh, generally two figures in astrology is either Gemini or Pisces. Yeah. But I think the lovers made it clear. So we went with Gemini on this one. Perfect, Adrian. Second question for you. Uh, which additional noble figure apart from King, Queen, Jack? Uh, called Caballo in Spanish or Caballo in Italian? Yeah, so here again, Caballo means horse, I guess, in Spanish. Mm -hmm. So the closest figure there would be knight. So that's what we went with. I think this question was, you know, <laughs> fairly workoutable that way, this spot. So somebody else told me that uh, they got Cavallo from Age of Empires. Uh, apparently in Age of Empires, you have Cavaliers. And that sounds like Cavallo. So he got knight from that. Which I that's how I story. got it too. Yeah? Yeah, I also got it like that. Okay. Nice. Third question. Uh, I put up. Um, yeah. Hanged man is a figure from which uh, from my thought, which figure from my college who suspended himself from a tree in order to gain knowledge. Yeah, so this actually I ended up passing because I was um, I couldn't decide between Odin and Loki. Uh, the reference here actually I got from American Gods. I think it's yeah, mentioned yeah, yeah. in passing. So uh, yeah, I passed on it, but non comp I guess Odin was the right one. That's that's how I uh, got the question as well. Okay. Uh, ah. from, from from the end of American Gods when. Uh, yeah. Okay, and your last question. Um, who is this person who's sitting on a throne, uh, right hand raised in blessing and triple cross on your left hand? Again, I mean, should I have gone for the guess with this Pope, but I think I was looking, for some reason, I thought you were looking for a specific one uh, and yeah. I just couldn't remember who it was. Was yeah. it Innocent, I think, who was just normally uh, portrayed that way? I, I was but told yeah, this uh, by, by a couple of people that, well. that because it says which figure, so people went for a specific figure. And in fact, I believe one person attempted a pope, like an actual pope, and he did not get a prompt for that. So again, uh, poor judgment yeah. over there. Okay, question is now next word. Uh, we're doing media. Again, lots of aspects in this. Uh, this is Harry Potter movies. Uh, plenty of people got four out of four correct in this. Anybody who wants to take all these questions? Yeah, I want to take all. Uh, say name, please. Yeah, Rahul here. I, I, because I knew at least I didn't get uh, our quiz. Everyone answered the direct one most. So. Awesome. First question, who was playing Dumbledore before Michael Gambit? Yeah, Richard Harris. Uh, how do you know this? I'm a big fan of Harry Potter movies. So so this Naam Yaad. Yeah, Naam Yaad. Cool. So I think there is a trivia here. Uh, yeah. Nasiruddin Shah's agent actually wanted him to audition for the role after oh, Richard wow. Harris passed away. Yeah, yeah. And he, he, he did not do it, but Okay, second question for you. Um, Ronak, I want to know if you got this also. Which iconic English actor played Garrick Ollivander? He played um, the victim in the most famous scene, Alien. Oh, no, ma, I didn't get any of these score except the Dame, I think Maggie Smith one, because that was the easiest one. Also, I'm not a Harry Potter fan at all. So I haven't even watched mm -hmm. all the movies. So. John Hurt here, yeah, but yeah, this is again. Big show of hands. How many people have heard of John Hurt? He's yeah. uh, big in the Doctor Who scene. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, that is. He's actually, yeah, and 1984. Okay, and third question. I think we skipped the fourth one because that's Maggie Scatola. This is the third question. Mm -hmm. uh, Rahul, who played yeah. uh, nearly a recent? Yeah, John Cleese. This is, I think, the Monty Python bit was clear, cleverly hidden there, but this is John Cleese. And he has two scenes, but somehow he's one of the highest billed actors in the first Harry Potter movie. I mean, so uh, that, that happens in that series, huh? Yeah, uh, you get uh, Daniel Radcliffe to present Emma Watson. <laughs> I think the fourth name is John Cleese. In the credits. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Not even Rupert Grint. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Alan Moore's graphic novels. I don't think Rishikesh is here, uh, but he's the only one who got a musket in this. Um, uh, I else? can go for it. I'll, yeah, I can go. Yeah. Question. Yeah, I also, I think I would have, um, it didn't, like, a lot of them didn't come to me, but otherwise. Okay. Uh, they're coming to you now. Uh, which, uh, which graphic novel shows superheroes in a change history? Hmm. Oh yeah, this is uh, uh, Watchmen. This, I mean, yeah, the there's a for well, Zack Snyder ka movie bhi hai, na? This a okay. associate movie as well. Have you read the comic as well? Uh, I've read it in parts. There, there are these really cool YouTube channels that do these side by side comparisons between comic and art, and they're, they're very nice. interesting ones. I mean, uh, there's also so, supposed uh, to be a motion. Have you seen the motion graphic novel? There's apparently some motion graphic novel which is like I don't know how, how they do it, but it's really cool. I haven't got into it, but Akshay keeps telling me about it. 
like it's just I guess, yeah it's kind of like that uh, there's a netflix anime called bay of the houses men which is a uh, sort of a motion graphic novel it's not a full anime it's not like fully animated yeah. like scenes from the yeah. uh, like mm-hmm. comic book or whatever are just like sort of they take the comic book panels and then they animate it and like try Very, to do yeah, a they, yeah, yeah. a lot of animation to that yeah okay second okay. question is uh, who's taking this Uh, this is uh, yeah, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Again, have you read it or have you seen the movie? Well, movie, yeah, I've read the movie. Uh, sorry, I've only watched the movie. Uh, I haven't read the book, but I know the Alan Moore from that. And, all, so. and the, uh, the hint for me was that there are characters from all various different fiction. Mm-hmm. Sorry, mm-hmm. plus the justice blank, of, blank. Yeah, justice blank immediately tells you it's a league. Okay, third question. Lost and girls. Thanks for uh, you know yeah. Nasiruddin Shah being there as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is there a Nasiruddin Shah hint in that question? Uh, no, 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 there no. isn't. Okay, good. But yeah. Hmm. Uh, last question. This okay. this one was uh, Dorothy, but uh, yeah. No I mean, hint. I guess this was I guess harder to get from. This I didn't get. Uh, yeah, no, no was... hint. No hint in the question. I think. Uh, yeah. The yeah. Part of the rough timeline. Late night. I think it came to me directly, and I got it. Oh, in in my quiz, we guessed all the hands question Anderson characters, but no one got Dorothy. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. And last question for you, Rishi. Um, yeah, this is uh, from hell. Did you know this? Like, people got Jack, uh, Jack the Ripper. Everybody knew it was Jack the Ripper, but nobody you know could take it from there. So did you? So I like in two convergent sources. I knew from hell was uh, one of the words used in the letters that we tried mm-hmm. as in heat sign of from hell. And before that, I knew that Alan Moore wrote this one novel, uh, graphic novel about uh, Victorian England called From Hell. So there is a John later Depp on, movie also. Ah, uh, yeah, same yes. And then later on, they kind of uh, combined together. <laughs> like, oh, this is probably why. I was uh, okay. My question is now on sciences. We have first one is allotropes. Rounds um, clear. Are you taking another one? Okay, which element exists in four different forms? Um, three of them are have different solubility in carbon. Yes, I, I am. How how how? Yeah, <laughs> I work in a steel plant. <laughs> oh, okay, cool, perfect. I like it when that happens. There was a, yeah. I remember last season we did a, a pod on medical tests. Yeah. And after this person got three out of three, I asked him how are you getting these tests. He's like, I'm a doctor. <laughs> yeah, that was his smell. Yeah, his smell. Yeah. Ismail got crate right because apparently that same day he treated someone with a crate bite, which yeah. is the craziest <laughs> coincidence ever. Amazing. So we make all types of things: low carbon, medium carbon, high carbon, etc. So perfect. Okay. Uh, which algorithm of phosphorus makes matches? I did not get this one. I don't remember the answer. So I got. I got a red phosphorus. Red phosphorus. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Uh, third question. Which allotope of oxygen is a pale blue gas with a distinctly pungent smell? This is ozone. This is ozone. Ozone, yeah. yeah. And you see some feedback about this. It says it is much less stable than the other allotope. Yeah. It's not immediately clear that other allotope is oxygen or like yeah. ozone. Or two, yeah. 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 So no, the clue here is the O three, right? Okay. The most well-known other allotrope is ozone. So right. that's that's a good clue. Excellent clue. Okay. Uh, and question again: uh, Carbon. Uh, which allotrope is shaped like a football? Yeah, this is a Buckminster Fuller yeah. theory. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. Again, we had to modify this. We were only accepting Buckminster Fuller. You were told to accept Bucky Balls also because that is a legitimate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Bucky Balls also accepted. Okay. Okay. Who's trying snakes? I hated this word, by the way. It's it's complete I nonsense. It. So many people seem to have liked it. <laughs> yeah. If no one else is there, I can take I. I got any of the answers. It is anybody else want to try this? I wish you know. I appreciate that you're doing this. But does anybody else want to try? Yeah, if no one else is there, then I'll do. It. Yeah, I'll try. Uh, who's this? Shuajit. Shuajit. Okay. First question for you. Uh, which large, fast-moving, and highly venomous snakes of the genus Oxyuranus? See, I have to read the full question because I don't even know which parts are useful. Like that's how bad I am at this topic. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Can you tell me your thinking? Can you teach me how to get the question? It's just Australia, North America, Africa, it's India. That is. Yeah, the... that is the three. The three types are. This is Taipan. Okay. So do you do you just know from the three types that this is this snake? Is that how you know this? Yeah, yeah. That's that's how I that's how you know it. Got it. Three types uh, of snake. Also, Second this name thing. inland Taipan. That's I think out of even these three, that is the most venomous. So. Yeah. One, one of the, one one of the participants that I, in the quiz that I was doing guessed that they guessed inland Taipan. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
This I did not know. Yeah, this one was a bit. Yeah. 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 I thought Great. the generic name and the common name were the same. Thing. So. Oh. I was like, Copperhead or something. Copperhead. Is there any hint in the question? Can you again? Can you teach no, me? I, no. In fact, with the hint in the question, I went to Diamondback. Yeah. Exactly. A lot of people passion. went for Diamondback because. Can you explain that? Why? Why Diamondback? There's this there's darker a, bands and then narrow, narrow and all that. Narrow there's a arc shape arc. kind like of a clue there. Diamond. Um, I didn't guess Diamondback because of Eastern North America. Diamondback yeah, only you've seen all this Arizona and all these areas. Or yeah, New Mexico types, but I was like, shy over. Okay, third question, big four is uh, which four sex? Somebody thanked me for this question. They said, "Maza aaya." So you asked the big four. This is this is great, and uh, Ismail in our round got this. Yeah, I, I was. Uh, so Ronak was just telling us that he treated someone. Yeah, yeah, he told that he he just coolly we were I had guessed great in that copperhead question and then he told wrong guess this is great and then he told he has treated somebody with his great poison. Oh, great! Last question of this part, then the only one that I could Black, possibly get. Black mamba. This, thank God, it was my direct. Yeah, it is. This is the easy question in the part. It's the yeah. only one that I could score because because it has a pop culture correct. If there's no pop culture correct, I'm generally used to it. Only Kobe Bryant, Fanda. Yes. It was it's old time. It was a it was a sports question during my college days. I, I've seen people do this, and when they say that the quad has started, and they say, "Okay, you're asking about snakes," they line up all the snakes they know. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> but I'm yeah, the same. I was the waiting for a cotton mouth question. Sorry, Sanjay. I was waiting for a cotton mouth question. Cotton mouth question. Cotton mouth is also a snake, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. a kind of. Of uh, rattlesnake. That's not. awesome. Diamondback and Cottonmouth are also characters from uh, Luke Cage. Yeah, yeah. that's why they're exactly. both. I, I didn't know that. Exactly. I didn't know there was snake reference. <laughs> Cottonmouth is also what uh, what it's called when uh, your throat gets uh, your mouth goes dry if you're smoking. Yeah. Oh, okay. Again, with that cheerful upbeat note, we'll move on to the next word. Uh, and first is MotoGP bikes. Who's attempting? I know Abhishek is attempting. Anybody else? I got two out of his. Not yeah, the, two. number doesn't matter anymore. But it's like we're depending on each other to just attempt. So who wants to attempt? No He's one is attempting. attempting. I can attempt. Not attempt. Who, who is this? Shuvajit. Shuvajit. Okay. Uh, first question for you: Casey Stoner, which European bike manufacturer? Ducati. How do you know this? The, I know Casey Stoner. This is uh, this is this prep which we will to put for. Uh, There's a quiz called BC Cup, which mm-hmm. is one of the most toughest quiz held by BC QC Pune. Mm-hmm. So it came in one of those their editions. Are you, are you a MotoGP fan? No, I'm not a MotoGP fan. I'm a sports quizzer, so I know oh. about I know a few names and everything. Awesome. Second question: uh, Which Asian bike manufacturer Valentino Rossi was on the team? This I did not know. I did not remember also. This is the only one I know. Yamaha. Yamaha. This is Yamaha, Yamaha, Yamaha. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, Yamaha. Yeah. This Somebody came to me. I, I just went with the third. Yeah, I guess before this, and I yeah, Yamaha. In our quiz, uh, I think we eliminated every one of the other Asian bike oh, manufacturers, okay. and we yeah. started with Yamaha. Yeah, in one quiz I was getting, they went for four different uh, bike manufacturers. Exactly. All, yeah. all were perfect, but not Yamaha. Yeah. But I, this is the only question I knew because I knew that Valentino Rossi was in Yamaha. I don't know any other about the Chipotle. Yeah, same. Me too. Me too. Okay, third question. Uh, this guy, Agostini, won. Uh, with which manufacturer? Italian aircraft manufacturer was the winner. Did anybody get this? I did not get this, but when we were told, we knew about the scam. Yeah. Agusta Westland. Same, same. When I showed the answer, a lot of people went, "Oh, okay, okay," but nobody knew the bike manufacturer. Yeah, I, I read the game where Suresh got this, so he got it immediately. And last question for this MotoGP championship, uh, which is. Which is the team that's been that started bike bicycle manufacturing in World War One? Did anybody get? Yeah, I got this April. Yeah. How? Yeah. Is there a hint? Uh, so I was actually <laughs> around and watching uh, watching MotoGP in this period, ninety four to ninety six. I was like twelve, thirteen oh. years old. Wow. Okay. So when I knew that Aprilia because it was not then 500, I remember that also. I love how you sort of humbly clarified that that you were around in the nineties. <laughs> <laughs> to watch this. <laughs> I was in no, because there was nothing else to do. There was nothing else to do. Like we we used to have just uh, like five channels or whatever. 
I was in an AQL quiz a few months ago where uh, the question passed from our team. It was some 80s song they were asking for, and we, 80s album, and we didn't know we just said some Michael Jackson thing, which is the only thing. We knew. And passed it to the other team, and they got it right. It was some obscure artist, and we asked how they knew, and they said I was there. I bought the album that day. I thought it's just an unfair advantage. Like if you were there. Yeah, yeah. I think this was the the quad was called One Hit Wonders, and the answer yeah. was Here Comes the Hot Stepper. Yeah. Oh, come, I got that. I got that question in, in AQ. Yeah, yeah. We remember <laughs> the song. Here comes the worst paper. Ooh la la. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, who's? I think we're done with the MotoGP. We're moving on to sports, sporting courses. Uh, anybody wants to attempt? I, nobody showed because absolutely nobody got this right. Uh, nobody even got yeah, any questions. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't take it because I, I remember them now. Yeah, I know me. one. Yes. Which one? Yeah. I, uh, I like you. Once you place a question, I tell you the one. I knew. I knew two. Yeah, I, I knew two. Did, did anybody get two cups? Yeah, I got. Two. Yeah, I, I I would have if uh, I mean uh, that was my sort of main guess, but I kind of passed that because I thought the Chicago Cubs hadn't won for hundred years. Do you just follow baseball? 70. Is that how you know? No, no, absolutely not. <laughs> I, 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 no, I knew. I knew, I knew it was either Red. Boston Red Sox or Chicago Cubs. And so I guess I was, my Red guess was Boston Red Sox only, but then yeah. yeah Curse. Then, one minute too late, I realized uh, Red Sox was curse of the Bambino. Yeah, 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 yeah. curse of the Bambino. Exactly. And then, obviously, Samant was next to me. He he would have also figured it's down to two. So since I said uh, Cubs, he said Red Sox. And, uh, sorry, other way around. I said Red Sox, okay. he said Cubs, and took it. Okay, who got this creator and mascot of Global Food Chain? I think uh, most of them got this. This is yeah. yeah everybody. I think Sanders. most of the, everybody got this in the direct room. Yeah. KFC, Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders from the KFC, uh, of course. Uh, this one, only one person got in the holy, and yeah. we fortunately have that person with us. Abhor, please yeah. explain how you got Taylor Swift. It was a random guess. Uh, in it was in LA. I thought, okay, this LA, this what musician could have been cursed or whatever. I think yeah, Taylor Swift seems reasonable at that and, time. So. And incidentally, he didn't even get on the direct. It was passed three times in the quiz. He was fourth in the passing <laughs> order. So pass, how? pass, pass Taylor Swift. <laughs> That's amazing. I answer. think we in our game everybody gets somebody from the 2090s and 2000s. Exactly. Michael Jackson. Yeah, Michael Jackson, Bruce Springsteen, Billy Idol, they were the guesses everywhere. Uh yeah. because of age man. Because yeah. of age. Because of being around that long. We just discussed the advantages of being around that long. So I suppose there has to be a first to compensate for that. Okay, question is uh, which football team John the Australia. Australia. This is this, I chose the wrong country. I cho- chose choice between Australia and New Zealand, and I chose New Zealand. No, everybody else in my game passed it. And this yeah. is one of those questions that uh, got the most uh, attempts. Attempts, right? Yeah. I mean, we were all guessing uh, African countries. Uh, yeah. Most of my. Most people started guessing African countries because yeah, so of fifty-five people went for guesses over here. It's, it's a pretty high I number. Mean, uh, if if you have the wrong guess data, which is not possible, but South Africa would have been the first choice. Yeah, mostly African countries. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know what that says about us, but mostly African countries. I there. I knew not to guess an African country because uh, in a World Cup finals, like you wouldn't have. It's rare to have. Uh, African countries in the same group or whatever. So exactly, that's correct. Yeah. So I thought it'll be some shaman type of funda. So I guessed. Uh, I think I guessed uh, Bolivia or something. We have one minute to go. Uh, schedule time. We have only two pods. We're making very good time. Uh, okay, last uh, two pods left. Who's attempting viruses? If Sangeet is there. Sangeet should attempt it. Sangeet, are you? Yeah. Okay. First yeah. question. First question for you. Who is the father of self uh, of computer virology? Yeah, yeah, self-replicating machines. So I guessed von Neumann. Uh, did you guess or did you do guess? No, I knew that. I knew that. Yes. Uh, second question. Yeah, I knew. Yeah, this one I was. Uh, this one was the fact that like I guessed creeper with a R E A P E R because it was killing oh. creeper. But yeah, I didn't get the points from this one. Yeah, someone, was just yeah that, that was actually pretty. Cool, someone though. guessed the exact same in my game also. It's a yeah. tough question, and you see the same. Because I guess the slight. Modification is uh, reasonably vague enough, right? Yeah. yeah, 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 and and everybody feels like they can take a shot at it because it's like slight modification. You have to make a set now. So everybody wants. No, I I it. said C plus Reaper, right? Right. Instead right. of just mm. Reaper, I should have gotten here. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, so this was the only one I missed. Yes. The third question: Which sports person is known most for her looks and her results? Yeah, Anna Kornikova. 
Anna Gomez. This I said Anna Karina. <laughs> yeah, Anna she, she gets Anna Karina. <laughs> Anna. <laughs> <laughs> this is so painful. <laughs> I like wait. I've heard this, and this this is the same poker thing that people often. Yeah, about. exactly. Like, That's how I knew it. I know no, no. time is it? I, I, I got it. Like Rahul was... got it from friends. Sorry, say again. Mm-hmm. Okay, friends. Yeah. I remember around uh, 2002 to 2003, Jay Leno used to come on CNBC in the night, mm-hmm. and so the joke was that. Uh, uh, you know this this virus is happening, but then we know it's not Anna Kornikova because the girl in the picture has was photographed holding two trophies. <laughs> <laughs> and last virus question. Uh, this is the first question in the quiz. This is the first mm-hmm. question, question of the entire league. In fact, NML is what kind of virus? Yeah, Trojan. 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 Uh, I think we underlined both parts, but even if you said Trojan, you should have gotten points. I hope I did oh. it a bit less. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was reprimanded though. <laughs> you were reprimanded. Who are you? Yeah, like, so I think Shohei was like, you're actually supposed to say horse, but I think Trojan is fine. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. When, and, and yeah, when Donna quiz, told uh, Trojan, I was thinking that what more he wants and he wanted prompt, something more. Yeah. If you if you do a lot of business for new people, you realize that even if you say like, itnas are like, you know, Telling off someone, they'll get completely discouraged and they might not come for the second quiz. So if you are reading ever for newbies, don't pass comments on their answers. Let it go. Okay. <laughs> just don't say anything. If you if you have nothing, to, just move. So if you if you're with a new quizzer, just just you know they say wrong, right? Pass. Okay. You can very easily discourage someone from coming for the second quiz. Okay. Uh, last question. Uh, last quad of the quiz. Um, landlord countries. Anybody wants to take? Yeah, Abhishek is here, so you can take. No one it. is there. I can take it. No one else. Abhishek is there. Abhishek has done. Nice. Abhishek got three out of four in this question. Is for you, Abhishek. Uh, which country in East Africa? Uh, it says White Nile comes from this part of Lake Victoria. Yeah. So the the key one for me was the try points because uh, one of these uh, CGP Grey or something has done a video on borders. Try point. I remembered that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So three point border. Yeah. And Lake Victoria. My my mother who's taking part in her first ever quiz in this league. Uh, did well in this squad because she just happened to remember the African country that she lived in as a kid. Wow. So, like, so it's random destination. This is the first quiz she's ever taken part in, okay? But I said some Lake Tika or something like that. I, I forget the name, but some lake was mentioned and she knew where the lake is. Mm-hmm. Okay, second question. I think this is the one, maybe. I don't know. Uh, landlocked country uh, lost access to Pacific Ocean. Yeah. So this is uh, Bolivia and then I think the the f- the flag of the country has a coat of arms which still has a ship or something like that. Something like that. Oh, okay. But I remember this thing of they lost access to the sea. Again, thanks to watching YouTube videos at some in- infernal hour of the night. Third question, second last of this review, uh, which country borders the Caspian Sea? Yeah, for this, that Iran clue really helped because I knew that Azeris are... Uh, there are there, some part of Iran, Iranian population are Azeris. So I guess Azerbaijan. That's very good. And last question of the quiz. Uh, this country established a navy, lost access, and uh, got rid of the navy by 96. It has Lake Tana in it. This is the one my mother got the name. Yeah. So this is uh, Ethiopia. And I was surprised it came to me. Like I was fourth in the passing order for this question. And Okay, awesome. Thank you so much for uh, for telling us about this. Uh, I, I, like I said, I don't really have any other data. Um, but uh, we'll probably end up doing this every week. If you uh, did enjoy this, then I don't know, like get other people next time. Uh, I'd like to turn <laughs> this into a community that basically discusses questions regularly. Okay? And we can do this in time, timely fashion. As you can see, we finished exact 45 minutes. So I think we should do this every week. <laughs> yeah, we we yeah. can plan for fun, Sunday. Actually, that, yeah. that would be better actually. Sorry, say again? We'll, because if we plan for Sunday evening, I think. Yes, yes. I, like there, next time, I, there are a bunch of things I want to do. Like right now, you're just looking at answers. You should see the question in front of you. You should see data in front of you. I'll do all yeah. that. I didn't have time. To yeah, that's fine. That's uh, next time, I'll try and get like good visions and stuff. Okay. And three of us were, were like chilling on the Google for like 15. Yeah, because I, I sent the wrong link. I'm sorry. Uh, next <laughs> yeah. time, a bunch of these things will be fixed. Okay. Right. All right. See you guys. Nice Come, man, like- Bye. Again, thanks, uh, It's really nice that you're going this extra mile. I think that's. Uh, yeah. Thank you. I think I, I think every Absolutely. every Mimid league should do this. This is an excellent thing. Yeah. Or or they shouldn't, and everybody should just join. <laughs> <this league. laughs> okay. So just maybe tell your friends to join this league. Okay. Every Mimid league can also do it, but right now just tell your friends that this one's doing it. Okay. Yeah. So, so thanks. Surely we'll do. Bye. 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 Bye.